Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are kicking off the new year here on my channel. I've had a little bit of a break. It's been really nice, but I'm back and I thought we could start off the new year with a beautiful luxury makeup haul. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee let's take a sip and let's get started for those of you who are new to my channel i'm a makeup artist and esthetician and i offer an online beauty consulting service this is where you and i talk one-on-one -on -one about your beauty concerns so whether you have questions about your current makeup routine you know it gets pretty overwhelming with the amount of new releases there are if you need help just putting together like an everyday makeup kit, or if you have questions about your skincare routine, skincare ingredients, and things like that, it's really up to you what you wanna talk about. So if you wanna make an appointment, please click the link in the description box down below. So even though I've been on break here from YouTube for a few weeks, I've actually been busy doing consultations because quite a few of you received a consultation either as a gift or you bought it as a gift to yourself. And I've just had several consultations in the past few weeks. So I've gotten the chance to meet so many more of you and it's just been so lovely and wonderful. So I thought for today's video, we could just do a nice little haul. Some of these are items that I gifted to myself from me to me. Some of these are items that I got as gifts and it's a good, it's a very well-rounded collection, assortment, if you will, of beauty products. So the first item I got actually is something that my husband gave for me for Christmas. This is the Chanel Le Verni in number 505 Particulière. Now I asked him for this nail polish specifically. He is not some sort of like makeup savant who just knows exactly what to buy. I told him explicitly which number of nail polish to get because I didn't have this in my collection. And it was always in the back of my mind, like maybe I should get it. You know, Chanel is an expert at discontinuing items out of the blue. And I thought, like this is not being discontinued that I know of, but I just thought this is kind of a classic shade. It's like a nude, but not too nude. So I should just get it. So I got this for Christmas. I wore it for about a week and it held up beautifully and with two coats of the color, a base coat and a top coat, it's just a really standout color. I heard from a lot of you over on Instagram who told me that you've bought several of these bottles. It's kind of like your go-to nude nail polish and I totally understand. The next thing I got for my husband as well for Christmas is this Dior Rouge Blush number 962 Poison Matte. And this is in fact the blush that I'm wearing today. This is also just one of those items that I kind of had on my vision, on my periphery that I knew I wanted to add to my collection at some point, but just didn't know when. So I asked for it for Christmas. And it's just a perfect sort of pinky, plummy red, and it's perfectly matte. It's not drying, it's really easy to apply, easy to blend, it holds up really well. It's just a really lovely color. And I know that there are a lot of new releases all the time, but sometimes it's kind of nice to go into the back catalog and see what's part of the permanent collection that you haven't picked up yet. It's kind of nice to just shop from like the older selection. So something that I bought myself over the holiday break is this Chanel eyeshadow palette here, and this is called Blurry Gray. This came out last year, the year before. It was part of a whole blurry eyeshadow collection. There was Blurry Green, that's the one that I picked up. There's a Blurry Blue, Blurry Mauve, and then Blurry Gray. And this one here, when it came out, I totally skipped it. I thought it looked really basic really boring to be honest but it actually is really lovely and it's also what i'm wearing today on my eyes for some reason i thought this would be much more warm toned i think i saw some swatches that made blurry gray look warm and it is not warm on me whatsoever it's a nice slate cool toned gray and if you've watched me for any amount of time i have complained a lot recently that there are just too many warm eyeshadow palettes out there and so i thought maybe i'll just shop the older collection and see what's around and so i picked this up a few weeks ago i've been playing with it i absolutely love it you get a nice combination of matte and also some satin finish shadows as well they all work well they're all really lovely and they're all nice and cool and so you get this like 
gray slate sort of smoky eye you can go light you can go dark it's just a really great palette and i'm just really happy that i added this to my collection i also added a viseart eyeshadow palette to my collection this is the theory palette number three chroma so this is just a really good smoky eye palette you get two rows one row of just matte and one row of satin shimmer colors and I have to say that the formula for both types of shadows is really nice. It blends really easily, it's buttery, it's smooth, they blend together, it's not dry, it's not chalky, and the satin colors are so beautiful. You don't need any Fix Plus, you don't have to wet your brush. As soon as you apply it, it's super shimmery and beautiful. I do not believe that this is new on the market. I think it's just new to me. Okay, next up is an item from Marc Jacobs Beauty. This is the Skin Deep Enamored High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquer in number 344 Skin Deep. I've tried a few of these Marc Jacobs glosses. They've often been in like sample formulas or sample sizes, and I've always really enjoyed the texture. It's glossy it's not too thick it's not too thin it's really just that perfect in between and this shade here i think is a little bit cool it kind of gives you that like milky finish i kind of have been very inspired by like i want to say the 2000s maybe late 2000s makeup with a dark smoky eye and a very nude lip i don't know why that's just what i've been inspired by recently and this gloss here is what i'm wearing today on my lips and it kind of just fits in entirely with this entire look I did buy this color online, so it was a little bit tricky figuring out the shades, but just in general, I do really enjoy this lip gloss texture. It's really nice, and I like that it's nude, it's easy to wear, easy to apply, and I don't have to worry about it running all over the place. Okay, so the next item came out of nowhere, literally. So. A few months ago, I contacted Jessica, my sales associate for Chantecai at the Holt Run Fru in Montreal, and I asked her if she had any more of the Hummingbird Blurring Powder because when that collection came out last spring, I thought, oh, I don't need it, I'll skip it, and then a few months went by and I was like, no, I really need it, but it sold out everywhere. And so yesterday, I get a package, I have no idea what it is, and Jessica had sent me the Hummingbird palette here. This is the perfect blur finishing powder, and it has the most beautiful packaging. I love the orange, I love the Hummingbird, and especially I love the powder inside. I'm wearing it today just as a trial run, and so far so good. I'm trying to preserve the beautiful packaging, but I'll take lots of photos and then start diving in right away. I'm just so happy that I finally have this powder here. Thank you so much, Jessica. It is so kind and so unexpected. I just, it just came out of completely nowhere. I was opening up the package and I was like, I don't think I ordered anything recently. What is this? And I was like, oh my goodness. It's just, it's so beautiful. I almost started to cry. I mean, I think us fellow makeup fanatics can totally understand when someone sends you something out of the blue that you've been coveting for months. Thank you so much. Okay, so moving on to a perfume. So this is the Chanel Paris Venise Eau de Toilette. Now I gifted this to myself over the holidays. This is not new, it's been on the market for a few years, but for some reason I just felt compelled to buy it. I just thought to myself, what if one day they decide to discontinue this and I didn't pick it up? I would regret that. So that's what spurred this purchase here. This is a really lovely powdery fragrance. There's some iris, it's a bit floral but not too heavy. There's a hint of vanilla, a hint of tonka bean. It's not a very sweet gourmand fragrance, it's more of a light airy powdery floral fragrance. To me, this is a signature scent. To me, this perfume smells like wealth, it smells elegant, it smells classic, it smells chic. I think you can really just douse yourself in this and just smell fantastic. This is like a signature scent material and I'm just really happy that I got it. 
I did purchase the 50 milliliter versus the 100 simply because I have a pretty extensive collection of perfume and even though I like to add new items, I find that it's easier to use up items if I buy smaller formats. Speaking of perfume, I have here the Armani Because It's You Eau de Parfum and this is something that my husband got for me over the holiday season as well. This is the perfume that I wore when we were on our honeymoon in Italy and I finished the bottle so I asked him to pick me up a new one and now whenever I smell this I just think of our time in Italy together. This is a very fruity, sweet fragrance. It's not sweet in a, like a decadent caramel scent, it's more raspberry fruit salad type of sweetness. There is also a bit of vanilla in here and also some rose. It has lots of raspberry and some lemon in there, some rose as well. And it's just so lovely. Whenever I wear this, I always get tons of compliments. So I think that raspberry is one of those perfume notes that just wears very well on me. It's always handy to try to figure out which perfume notes work for you and which ones don't. Okay, moving on to some skincare. So I picked up the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel Cleansing Powder. So I already have this. This is simply a backup. I have one in the shower right now that I think is on its last leg. So the way that this works is that this is a cleansing powder. So when you pour this out into your hand, it's just a powder, then you add a few drops of water and it immediately transforms into this foaming cleanser. And there are enzymes in this powder that act as an exfoliator. So instead of using like a harsh granule to scrub your face, this really soft cleanser just eats all of the dead skin cells, all of the debris, all of the gunk, and just cleans out your pores and leaves you with the most beautiful skin. They've recently changed the packaging. Mine looks slightly different, but from what I understand, it's the same formula or very similar. So I'm just excited to get a backup because it's really great. It's one of those products that I tried once and saw an immediate difference. So I just like having a backup around just in case. And then speaking of exfoliating, I went ahead and got myself a few backups of some of my favorite Shantikai skincare. So the first one here is the Hibiscus Smoothing Mask. So this is also an exfoliator. I think a more sane person would not necessarily need both, but we are on the alley show and this is not the place for restraint when it comes to beauty this is the place to be extra so i got a backup of the hibiscus smoothing mask this is similar in principle to the enzyme peel this one here is a mask that you leave on your skin for like five to ten minutes and then you rinse it off and as the mask is on your skin it just eats away all the dead skin cells now a person who knows restraint probably wouldn't need both of these exfoliators but i am a lady of extra and i like to have a variety so i have both and then i also got a backup of the jasmine and lily healing mask so this is just a really lovely soothing hydrating and very brightening mask this is great for a colder winter months i can just see the snow and the frost on the window so this is really great it's just really nice soothing and also very very brightening so whenever i exfoliate i like to do a nice layer of this mask afterwards just to give myself the full spa experience at home and then i wanted to get the stress repair concentrate eye cream because I've tried several samples over the past few months and I love it. So I thought I would just go ahead and buy myself the full size, but I saw that they had this kit that came with the full size of the Stress Repair Concentrate with the Vital Essence, which is a serum that's supposed to be super hydrating. And the serum here is also supposed to be soothing and also help fight the appearance of redness because I'm just noticing a little bit more redness right now. I don't know if it's because of the weather, probably the cold winter months are starting to have a toll on my skin so yeah i just wanted this one here and i thought i may as well just give this serum here a try at the same time and then i also decided to pick up a sheet mask here from dr jart i do really like the masks that you leave on your skin overnight but sometimes a sheet mask is fun to do when you're taking a bubble bath and i love dr jart i have a bunch of their toners and face creams as well 
I really love the Ceramidin line. I think it's really nice. So this is a shape mask that's supposed to strengthen the moisture barrier on your skin, which can become compromised with harsh weather. So I am just getting myself ready for the cozy months ahead of me. Okay, so next up are two items here that I've received in PR. The first one here is from Paula's Choice. This is the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid exfoliant salicylic acid. So this one here I haven't had the chance to try out yet, but I'm planning on it in the future. I'm really excited to try this out because I've just heard a lot about Paula's Choice skincare. I've never tried anything from them before, so I'm curious to see what this is like. If you've tried Paula's Choice, if you've tried this exfoliating toner here, please let me know in the comments what you think, and also let me know what I should try from Paula's Choice in the future. Okay, and last but not least is something that I got from PR from Refer Brushes. So a few months ago during the Black Friday sale extravaganzas, I picked up one of the core sets during a sale, and as you can see, these are used, well-loved, and need to be cleaned. But after I had been using them for a few weeks, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try more of their brushes. And so they sent me this here in PR. And here you have the container here with the brushes. And this is a set of face and also eye brushes here. So we have a few face brushes here. I haven't had a chance to take these out of the packaging. Um, I got these just at the like just before the holiday started, like the week of the, the 23rd or something, and I was like, I'm going on break for a few weeks, so I haven't even had a chance to try these out, but I will be playing with these and testing these out on my channel, so if you wanna see how these work, I would, I would recommend subscribing to my channel. And then we have a few face brushes. I think this looks like a powder, probably a blush, bronzer, and I think this one is probably for foundation, some sort of like small stippling action, so. I'm excited to try these out. For the time being, they will go back into their home, into their little case, until I can properly try them out. I got a lot of comments asking me to try my refer brushes with my Westman Atelier products. So I think I can do a video of that, of just trying these brushes here with different products, different textures, just to see how they work. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. This is my luxury beauty haul. I think it was pretty well-rounded. We had some makeup, some perfume, some skincare. I think all the categories were covered today. So let me know down in the comments what you thought of today's video. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products, if you have them at home, sound off down below. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I would highly recommend that you do because I talk about nothing but luxury beauty. And what I do on my channel that's a bit different than other channels is whenever I get a new collection, I will go ahead and create multiple different looks. I don't just buy every single new collection that's out there and then just kind of forget about it. I use and reuse the same items and I like to mix and match old and new together. So if that sounds interesting to you, I would highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, I think this is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season. I hope you got some time off. I know not everyone gets to luxuriate at home for two weeks over the holiday season, but I hope you all managed to have a wonderful holiday season. I hope you got to relax and unwind a bit. And thank you all for being here. It really means a lot to me. So I hope you're all staying safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.